I've mentioned the INES scale a few times on this channel, and some of you might be wondering what it is. Well, you've clicked on the right video if you do want to know. Now, this video is a short explanation of what it is and what the point of it is. The International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale, or INES for short, was developed in 1990 by the International Atomic Energy Agency. The scale was originally thought up to categorise certain events and accidents in nuclear power stations. However, its scope has been extended to any civil nuclear or radiological event. It is used, and I quote from the IAEA website, to communicate the safety significance of nuclear and radiological events to the public. Essentially, it is used in publications to convey extremely complex ramifications from incidents for the layperson. The scale is broken down into seven numerical ratings from one to seven, which one being not bad, not good, to Good Lord, what is happening to that nuclear reactor? Aurora Borealis? Uh, Aurora Borealis? Yes. May I see it? No. The scale is used for rating of events that release radioactive material into the environment and in the exposure of workers and the public. Each level is approximately 10 times worse than the level below it. The scale is not intended to be used for disaster management as usually the rating is only attached to an incident well after the fact. This is due to the environmental impacts can only truly be assessed over time. Case in point being Fukushima. That started out initially on a level 5, only to be raised to level 7 after the full incident was realised. The scale is further subdivided to accident, which is the top 4 categories, and incident, which is the bottom 3. To add another level of confusion, there's also a level 0. But for the point of this video, that basically covers all other non-safety significant incidents. The level on the scale is determined by considering 3 areas of impact. People and the environment looks at the radiation doses to people close to the location of the event and the widespread unplanned release of radioactive material from an installation. Radiological barriers and control looks at events without any direct effect on people or the environment and only applied to major facilities. It covers high radiation levels confined within a facility because of an event. Depth in defence is similar to the above as it looks at the events without direct impact on people or the environment but also looks at failures of systems or procedures to prevent accidents. Each level has its own classification so let's have a look. Level 1 is Anomaly, Level 2 is Incident, Level 3 is a Serious Incident, Level 4 is an Accident with Local Consequences, Level 5 is an Accident with Wider Consequences, Level 6 is a Serious Accident, and level 7 is a major accident. Sellafield is the real winner in the scale as it features at least once in levels 1 to 5, which is bad for the environment but kind of good for this channel as it gives me plenty of future subjects for videos. I've already started chipping away at a couple of the levels on this scale and I've nearly completed all of level 5. The IAEA has developed the scale in cooperation with over 60 member states through their official INES officers. Now the scale isn't without criticism, mainly from the two accidents in level 7, Chernobyl and Fukushima, as both events were very serious but had very different implications for the wider environment. The scale is mainly used as an easy to use guide for the public, so it isn't very scientific, which is its biggest criticism. Because of nuclear and radiological events being open to interpretation, it makes giving a number on the scale very difficult for classifying events. Now I hope this short little video helped explain what the INES scale is and are there any of these incidents I should make a video on? Let me know in the comments below. Did you know you could gain access to plainly difficult videos before they're put up on the channel? Well if you didn't you can by becoming a Patreon supporter from just $1 a month. And from $3 a month you can have your name up with these lovely people. For you guys who have watched this far thank you for watching and my next video will be on the Three Mile Island. Now I've done my obligatory YouTuber advertising all that's left to say is thank you for watching.